All right, well, hang on. Can I jump in? I'm, I've launched. I'm on my way into space. I'm dying to take a number two. It's, you know, pretty exciting. I couldn't let one go earlier. I've run up to the daddy and i got problems. <laughs> okay. So here we are. We've just, we're up in orbit. We're up near the cover well, line. And I need to take a dump. But I have a, uh, I have a uh, suboptimal but manageable solution for you. <laughs> Well, suboptimal, I'll take. <laughs> I'm dying for a crap. Yeah, it has something, it is, it's actually related to our little uh, set piece we have tonight. Do go on. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a nice little article uh, about um, the dragon capsule, whose uh, toilet has broken, and uh, now the, crew, the SpaceX crew is stuck using diapers. Right. Is that a kink thing or is that actually to use for proper purposes? Because I believe diapers are one of those optional extras at certain places of, well, well given where the they perform massage. Given the fact that we are talking about a broken toilet, mm. the, the using That's... diapers part might not be the weirdest uh, thing. <laughs> okay. Well, we are on a, on a spaceship for some time. Uh, the mind can wander. Okay. Continue yeah. along. And uh, like I said, Nestor, also the uh, astronaut Megan McArthur described the situation Friday as suboptimal but manageable. <laughs> we we don't have a clip of this, do we? Of people going, I was dying to drop a number two, and yeah, not anything, really. No? no, no. Okay, that's good enough. Keep going. Okay. So <laughs> we'll uh, try. The astronauts who will depart the international to the international states uh, the, the, the early this weekend will be stuck using diapers. So, well, Captain the crew <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> Imagine taking this a level up to the Enterprise, where they get the problem where the Brasco gets blocked. Kirk to Enterprise, we're just going to have to push through this one together. Probably not the ideal choice. The suboptimal wording for that. So you I, I think just... that I think that the greetings when they uh, step out of the airplane when they arrive is going to be very brief. It's going to be like, oh, yeah, okay, um, hello, we're here. Toilet and bathroom right now. I need a shower. <laughs> and we're going to also let the crew know that the air sickness bags are going to be extra hazardous this way too. So just keep an eye out. That's a special <laughs> one. Be mindful of the air sickness bags, crew. That's for the yeah. cleanup. <laughs> Clean up oh. in aisle six. <laughs> like, they, so, like, just... like they said. It's, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, isn't isn't the cost per seat something like twenty five or twenty three million dollars just to yeah. get a seat in the Dragon capsule, and they you don't even get you don't even get a working toilet. Yeah, on your way home from the ISS. Yeah, <laughs> and if, if airport meals are anything to go by, the one thing you are going to need is a fucking working toilet. Oh yes, it writes itself, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I'm getting scared. <laughs> yeah, like they said, space flight is is full of 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 lots of little challenges. So uh... <laughs> little challenges, all right. Yeah, we'll call them that. <clears throat> uh, actually, though, while we're on the uh, thing of all up in uh, cleanups in all six, um, cheesy. Any chance you could depart? Like you you're leaving your job at the supermarket um, this week. You don't have any mm -hmm. stories of perhaps maybe people that might have done weird things in the supermarket <laughs> that you've taken note of <laughs> you 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 know i do yeah i was trying to pretend it was the off the cuff thing now the now you can <laughs> okay well tell us oh, i've gone to the supermarket so, and i've never been happy with a dozen eggs yet i've got to build the ultimate dozen of eggs so how do i go about building my ultimate so, <laughs> 12 so <laughs> i I had the misfortune of seeing, a, 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 I, I believe it to be a Super Karen. It's a very rare occurrence in the, uh, in, in the, uh, the retail arena, but it was in fact a Super Karen um, assembling what, what must have been the ultimate box of eggs. So she, she, she found the brand that she liked. She proceeded to start pulling entire cartons of eggs off the shelves, um, found the one with the most ultimate eggs in, and then began swapsies with all the other boxes that she'd pulled off the shelf. Um, so she, she, 
the, what was kind of upsetting for me is I'd, I'd, I'd spent the morning um, assembling said box of box of eggs because it was empty. So I, I put them all in, in you know, the, 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 the right order, the right places. It was looking pretty sweet. And Super Karen comes in and starts this. I, I asked her if she needed help. Um, and she just looked at me like I was stupid and said no. But yeah, so th this apparently it happens quite a lot. But this, this yeah, I, I, it's just really stupid. So it must have taken her like 25 minutes to assemble this ultimate, ultimate carton of eggs. And then she took that to the front and left all of my eggs all over the place. Wow. With the cleanup bill. What? No wonder the price of eggs. In fact, they're pretty cheap here. Um, I've also found talking to supermarket staff, because I've never worked in a supermarket. I do have some funny customer stories, but that's another show because mine are out there and fucking weird. But I did ask a supermarket worker about where they, there are certain things they say, you know, like we've got a, a, a code 16 or something in aisle 12. And, and Gemma actually sent a couple of them a messages to keep an eye for a good looking woman or a pretty not hot guy in the, uh, in the aisle. And I'd never ever heard the aisles line up with the aisle I was in. Like it was uh, something in aisle 12. I was never in that aisle. I'd always take note. And I was thinking, um, if they're doing it for perving purposes, I don't want to shop in a place where they don't find me attractive. So if I don't hear that new supermarket workers, I'm a little bit offended. If you're not going to perv at me, it just kind of makes it not worthwhile. But apparently, is that right? Are there little coded messages? Uh, they not not I not I've not heard any like that. Um, but uh, there are, yeah, there are. Um uh, uh the, there's uh there's one for do like a dodgy person on, on a specific aisle um there's one for a shoplifter install all the usual stuff but I've, I've not heard any anything to say look out for somebody sexy <laughs> okay um do you remember a product called chicken tonight uh we used to have this on the shelves I and the ad like for it on tv like you know the one tonight. i feel like chicken tonight and everyone's <laughs> wiggling their arms around right like idiots yes now, yeah, that's dumb I was... commercial I was shopping with two mates and we were cruising. It was me doing the shopping and you just don't go when you're with your friends when they're stoned. And we've got to where the chicken tonight is and they both started doing that silly dance and I'm thinking, holy shit. And this woman at the same time comes around with her little son, sees us, sees Dave. Now this is a guy with dreadlocks and face rings and like he was pretty good bloke but feral as fuck. And the other guy was sort of tattooed and bearded and that they're both doing this chicken tonight medley and the woman just eyes lit up and she just backed away slowly like not like she'd seen a bear in the wild she backed away slowly and off to the next aisle and now i've got 17 more seconds of <laughs> time to go on ah the boomer train i love Ouch. it you, don't, you realize this is backfired don't you <laughs> and as you can see cheesy feels like chicken tonight thank you train you will be seen <laughs> you'll be back later <laughs> I love it. I've got my own train. Thank you. All right. Yeah, they uh, they they uh, they are actually considering maybe waiting for a bit. But uh, from what I could uh, could read, uh, they had to deal with uh, with the toilet leak uh, on the uh, on the capsule because they uh, discover were discovering uh, pools of urine. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that might be a good uh, reason to say like, okay, maybe it's broken. Is I couldn't it, help. Do, you, do you think people are slightly concerned by this? Because toilet technology has only been around for what, say, let's say, let's say two hundred years, just to be, or a hundred years, just to be on the uh, yeah. on the safe side. Let's, I, I'm sure it's probably longer. They're putting the, something into space, and they they haven't cracked a hundred year old technology. Um, in space, no one can hear you scream. That's well, all I can say. <laughs> it's probably slightly different. It's, it's probably slightly different technology than uh, our toilet. Uh, yeah, it's like when a when a tube came unglued and spilled, ben, uh, spilled beneath, spilled urine beneath the floorboards. So it's uh, yeah. Sorry, dude. I've just got to deal with something in the chat here. No, Micro Raptor, I'll just let you know, for the record, in an official capacity, <laughs> I have managed to fail No Nut November, oh, up around 30 times now. I'm going to try to break the record <laughs> for epic fails of No Nut November. So it's 20 Nut November. <laughs> so there you go, Micro. Oh, always on it. 
and, love your work. <laughs> and, we're, and we're only <laughs> 10 days in. It's, uh, but, but there's also good news, which may, might also become bad news on the way back, if I may add. Because on the culinary side, the astronaut grew the first chili peppers in space. And they, uh, got the to, cardboard, they got the cardboard. They got to sample. Real a, they got to sample a, a real one. It's not the UK. And they right. got they, the, they got they got to sample their harvest in the past week. Uh, they, so uh, without be, without a toilet. Well, it, there is a toilet in the ISS. It's just on the dragon ship. Oh, that's capsule. okay. Yeah. yeah. Good, good. It's, it's just an uncomfortable uh, way home. Uh, I can feel the perfect storm coming. I don't know about you, but this is getting worse. So, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> to slowly lead us on into the, the weirdness of tonight. And for those who don't know, we've been rather cruel to Cheesy tonight. That little white thing that you're wondering what it is, no, it's not one of his favourite implements. It's actually the SpaceX vehicle with a nappy on it. But yeah. I've got a huge television. It's the size of a pinball and Coke bottle glasses, and I still can't make out the nappy. So those of you with <laughs> less than suboptimal vision, that's what do you think your little spaceship there, Cheese? You can take that home with you tonight, too. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a dragon capsule with an adult diaper on. Hmm. I, I didn't realise it was an adult, adult diaper. I just thought it was some kind of uh, sexy spaceship lingerie. It can be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going well guys i'm loving this oh they use suction in space toilets so well that 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 makes uh that makes uh no not november even harder right yeah you have just watched an outtake of the something for nothing live stream if you want to see the full show you can follow the link in the description below if you like what we got Please click the subscribe button and tickle that little bell. And of course, give us a like. See you next time.